art class. Today we'll be drawing this groovy street using warm colors and cool colors as well as complementary colors and symmetry. To start off with we will draw a wavy horizon line and then we'll begin to draw the buildings on our street. Now please be creative with your buildings. They don't have to look like all the houses on my street. You can be creative and come up with your own houses with windows, um, doors, however you'd like to draw them. Now on my street I'm also going to have a few trees. I'm going to draw a house here. It's a little bit different. And this house has an attached garage. Now this taller building next door is probably like an apartment building with additional floors. I've got another tree and some more houses. Now once you've finished drawing the houses on your street, we are going to draw the exact same houses only on, on the bottom, like a mirror image. When you make two parts of an artwork the same, it's called being symmetrical or symmetry. That's an art term you'll hear quite a bit in art. So this particular project we are making our reflection on the bottom symmetrical to the street we drew above with the houses. So you want to try to recreate the houses that you drew above the horizon line. Don't forget all the windows, don't forget the garage. Now I'm going to make my apartment building. Now when I first drew this, I drew this, the windows a little bit small so I had to go back and erase it. That's the great thing about drawing with pencil. If you do make a mistake, you can go back and fix it. And there you go, we've got we've got our street above the horizon line and then we've got the, uh, the buildings below the horizon line. Now I'm going to draw a, the color in above the horizon line using the warm colors. Warm colors remind us things that are hot like the sun or fire. And speaking of sun and fire, I forgot to draw on the, the sun to begin with so I went ahead and added that later. Now remember, all of your buildings and trees above the horizon line are going to be colored with these warm colors red orange and yellow because they remind us of warm warm things like fire Now remember, you don't want to color anything below the horizon line yet. That's going to be colored in with your cool colors. If you've never heard the terms warm colors and cool colors before, um, like I said, the warm colors will remind you of things that are warm, like the sun, fire, spicy things. Cool colors will remind you of things that are cool like water, or ice, or uh, rain. So the cool colors, um, which we'll get to in a minute, are the green, blue, and purple. And here we are finishing up the last house that's done in the warm colors. Now, to make the colors pop a little bit and to, exact, or to define the details in this picture, I'm adding a Sharpie black outline just to make everything pop.
All right, there you have your warm street above the horizon line. Again, the warm colors are red, orange, and yellow. Now adding the cool colors, which I mentioned earlier, green, blue, and purple, you've created a color wheel. Now at the beginning, I mentioned we're also going to be using what we call complementary colors. Complementary colors are colors directly across from each other on the color wheel, like red and green, blue and orange, and the last one is yellow and purple. So the parts that you colored above the horizon line that say are red, I'm going to color below the horizon line in the complementary color, which the complementary of red is green. So wherever I colored red above the horizon line, I'm going to color green below the horizon line. All right, once I'm done with the green complementary color and cool color, I'm going to do the complement of the orange color, which is blue. So anywhere I colored above the horizon line orange, I'm going to color below the horizon line using blue. So, so far we've used um, a number of art terms in this project. We've used warm colors and cool colors, and we're using complementary colors now. The complementary color of yellow is going to be purple. So wherever I have yellow above the horizon line, I will have purple below the horizon line. There we go. Now again, I'm going to go back with the black Sharpie and just define some of those details. Make the colors just really pop out. Starting with my curvy horizon line. And there we go, we've got our finished project.